people on a world stage say, wow, you've got something really unusual there. And I'm talking about granite petrologists, geologists from Europe, from North America and so forth. And they know that this is not like what they'll find in America or Canada or through Europe. So it needs that wake up call to say, hey, you've got something special here in central Victoria. So it's a really interesting uh, position in the landscape where the Strathbogies sit. And for that reason, you get a lot of really interesting bird assemblages uh, occupying the different habitats within, uh, within the Strathbogie range area. We're trying to move it towards ecological restoration where we're trying to recreate habitat and put back exactly the plants that should be there. The landholders in particular need to know what's happening out there uh, in the landscapes that they own and manage um, and so that they can sort of see the rewards of the habitat restoration that they've been a part of. So what we find is a lot of uh, land care uh, involves plants being put in that are not really the right plant in exactly the right place. It's the subtlety of the placement of the plants. If you put the woolly tea tree halfway up the hill, it'll die, whereas if you put it in the bed and banks of the stream, it'll, it'll prosper. I'm really tapping into the observations they've made over 100 years in some of these um, family farms and trying to put that together in a geological sense. We're actually seeing really good results with getting rid of um, weeds, certain grasses with one or two maybe birds. So a lot better than putting all that chemical into the ground.